All right, guys, today we're going to change the Hydra Gear Reservoir on a Bobcat Rider. And just a quick note, I have this door alarm behind me that just keeps beeping. I think the battery's dying, so when you hear a beep, um, don't think it's your smoke detector or anything. It's, it's quite annoying, but uh, let's jump into this. Lift up the seat. You have your two reservoirs there. You can see this one's got duct tape all over it. And let's turn the light on here. You're going to see a bolt back there well it's under the tape it's a uh, 11 millimeter and on the other side of the tank there's one way back let's see if we can get the camera in there there it is down in there so I'm going to show you uh, that's also 11 millimeter and then underneath where your hose is you're going to have a clamp right there which is going to be a 8 millimeter this one's pretty accessible, your 8 millimeter. Um, you could just ratchet that off there. This one over here, you kind of have to uh, snake your uh, your ratchet drive in and down the side of it. It's not a lot of room to get air tools in there. Um, you have uh, some fuse blocks here. But you can take your ratchet, just go straight in and then turn, and you can get right back in there with your ratchet to take that one off. I already loosened them for the sake of speeding up the video. So I'm just going to go ahead and pull those off. Now, if you're having a hard time, um, with the uh, nut spinning on the front. You can just hold your hand back here. Um, this bolt pretty much will hold itself in place in there. Um, just use your finger. You won't need a wrench or anything to get back there. And uh, you'll be able to get that, that nut off pretty simple. Same thing with this one. You are pretty much gonna drop that nut, which we did. You can see it fell down in there. Uh, but you can leave that there. We'll get that out once we pull this tank up. But the nuts are off and the tank is loose. So now we just have that clamp holding the hose on, which we're going to use our 8 millimeter. Put it on that uh, clamp, loosen it, and then we'll be able to shimmy this up and off of that hose. You're going to have to kind of use your finger to guide it onto that clamp. Because you can't really, uh, can't really see it. You have to feel it with your fingers to get the socket on there. Alright, that's loose. Alright, now we should be able to just... Pull this straight up. There's your reservoir. Now, if you had fluid in this, it would be spilling out the bottom now. So, uh, I probably should have mentioned this in the beginning. Um, just get some type of uh, you know, little suction uh, drain tool if you want to drain this out uh, prior to taking it off of the hose so you don't have a mess. Or you're just going to have to pull it off really quick um, and uh, put your finger over this to uh, cover it up once you pull that off. But make sure you have something on the ground because it's gonna leave a little bit of a mess, but definitely drain the tank. All right, so now we have our new reservoir. And one thing, you know, I was worried about was this hose was gonna be really flimsy and hard to uh, push this back on. Um, but at least Bobcat did something right here. This is actually really tight, uh, this hose here. So you will be able to uh, Put some pressure on that and slide that straight down. Um, what I did do was I just took a little bit, you can see, just took a little bit of grease and I put it on that bottom nipple there um, just to help slide it down in there a little bit easier in case there was a little bit of friction. Um, so what we're going to do now is just turn this and we're going to try to line that up with the hole there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and push this down in there. And there it goes, drop down in there fairly easy. All right, and our holes are lined back up. So go ahead and push your bolts back through in the back here. And we can go ahead and put those nuts back on. Now, these are carriage bolts again, so you can just hold the carriage bolt in the back with your finger so that it stays seated in there. And go ahead and tighten that up. We got that one firmly back in. Now, when we go to do this side, uh, I'm going to give you a little tip. Chances are you probably dropped your carriage bolt down on that side. Um, I would use a magnet. And what I would do is actually uh, your carriage bolt on the magnet. And you're actually going to have to fish it back through here, down the side behind this bar, to get it back through that hole. Now that we have it through, we can kind of hold it back with our finger and go ahead and tighten it up. 
All right, now our clamp bolt there, that's going to be the uh, probably the most difficult to get on there because that's going to want to slide back and forth as you're trying to tighten it. So you're going to need one hand to kind of hold that. I would recommend using a uh, flathead screwdriver because if you try to put your socket on there, the, the weight of it is just too heavy. You're going to keep pushing that around. So we need to slide this down a little bit. Um, you can see where the old clamp was. And then we're going to hold this with our finger and just use the flathead to get that started to where it's tight enough. Um, to where the ratchet drive is not going to push that around and then we'll tighten it up with the uh, ratchet. Alright, there's our tank. It's on. And our part number for this is going to be 4174035. And that's it. As always, guys, please, if you can hit subscribe below and uh, give me a thumbs up. If you have any questions, uh, feel free to reach out to me. My email is whattodorob at gmail.com. Um, I try to answer questions every day from everybody, and I love helping you guys out. That's why I do the videos. But please, make sure you hit subscribe because I do these daily. And uh, there's always going to be something useful that you can, um, you can use, or if, even if you just have questions. All right? So I'll see you next time.